As the Multnomah County Health Officer, my job is to look out for the health of people who live in the county. And so we do that in many ways, but some of the best ways are things like having clean water, having policies and environments that allow people to be healthy, and we really work through a lens of prevention. The Environmental Protection Agency at the national level and the state of Oregon tightly regulate public water systems as they should, uh, given the stakes of how many people consume this water on a daily basis. And I understand that the filtration project will put us in alignment uh, with those regulations uh, for now and into the future. I understand the filtration will lower the already low risk of cryptosporidium, which has been detected in our water supply. I know that it sets us up uh, to have a more resilient water system heading into uh, climate change, uh, things like droughts, the potential for earthquakes. So it's really a forward-looking project to keep our water supply safe. So water, as far as we know, not a huge contributor to lead poisoning in children, thank goodness, but again, there is no safe level. So any chance to get lead uh, out of our environment is, uh, is a good opportunity for public health. Figuring out a system for clean, safe water, you know, 150 years ago was a huge public health win. And it's the best of prevention because when it works, we don't, we don't even notice it. So we just take for granted that clean water comes out of our taps. So no question that just having clean water uh, in, in our taps is, is absolutely one of the biggest public health wins that we now have the luxury of taking for granted. So my name is Jennifer Vines and I'm the Multnomah County Health Officer and I'm a family doctor. Learn more about the Bull Run Treatment Projects and the future of our water system at portland.gov slash bullrunprojects. Mm -hmm.